It is a very big day at Lalande today because today is the day that the talented, hilarious, adorable Marie Vic is moving back to the chateau. And I can't wait to hear what she thinks of all of Davy's changes in the garden because there'll be so many more flowers available for her to work with this year. We will miss her so much. None of us can wait. We're starting the day with a trip to Imaus. We can't actually get to the car. Thor. Hello. Excuse me, Thor. Thor. Excuse me. Excuse me. We do have to just... Oh, you're so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous today, Thor, as always. He's pretty frisky at the moment. Have you noticed how often he's doing that? There's a lot of frogs. Yeah, Thor and the frogs. I see a very exciting delivery's arrived. Uh, the rest of the rest of the framing and the passport for the uh, for the room. For the Fantastic room. and a brand new cement mixer, well, just what I always wanted. Yeah. It's amazing the things I get excited about these days. I like the fact you chose an orange one. Yeah. It, I mean, matches, it matches all your still stuff, doesn't it? Orange. Look, it matches the little tags on your cardigan. Still. That's a that's a forestry. Yeah. That's chainsaws and strivers. But that's orange, isn't it? That's impressive, Steph. Nice one. Oh, wow. Well, look, I got brownie points. <laughs> See you later. See you later. I don't usually go on the Saturday in my trips with Philip and the guests, but today is a lovely day. I thought I'd just pop along. And also, I was speaking to Mummy. She has just landed in England, so very soon we should be seeing her at Lalande, within a couple of weeks, I think. And she was saying to me, I will not bring any luggage with me. Maybe you could go to Emmaus and see if you could find a little summer dress or two for me. What did she say? Maybe, Maybe Philip, Philip can go. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> Maybe Philip can find me a little dress. My mother always forgets she has a full wardrobe of clothes here. Mummy, you are not going to lack anything, but... Maybe we'll find something. We're going to go and see if we can find a little summer dress. Oh. Please let there be some summer dresses. Otherwise, I'll be in disgrace with my mother. I'm pretty sure this is the sort of thing Percy would want Mummy wearing. I'm not convinced it's the sort of thing that Mummy will want to wear. It's very 80s. Very 80s and rather elegant, actually, but I think it's a bit, a bit big, a bit frumpy, and not summer enough. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's trousers. Oh, that's actually really cool. Maybe a bit short, but actually. Yeah. I think she prefers slightly longer sleeves on things. I think that's quite cool. Imagine that with a belt. With a cardigan as well. Like, look. Oh, I think she'd really like that. That would go with the cardigan that I bought her for Christmas. And mummy loves things that are very floaty. So I think she'd find that very sweet. Yeah. Six euros? Okay, let's take that one. Okay. Maybe with this one, but then without the belt. Yeah, maybe actually. Oh, I think well, that's the sort of shape that's good on her. Around. That's the front. Oh, so that's the back, which is actually quite nice to have that little bit just yeah. holding it there. And you've got a little bow at the back. And that's four euros? Yep. I think we can stretch to that one as well. Kitchen camera for your mother. I think we're good at that. I can definitely see mummy in that. We've seen these two, and you're holding the other one. What do you think of this one? I mean, it's a bit drab, but it's I like the, same the shape. Part. I like the tartan mm -hmm. with the little flowers. I like the little frill at the end. I think my mother's going to like a little frill at the bottom. I like the shape. I think the size is good. I think she'll be so comfortable in it. Mm. Sorry, Percy. We're just going through all the tight ones that I know you would love. Um, Excuse me. Hello. 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 Anybody there these <laughs> days, won't they? <laughs> We're buying little summer dresses for mummy. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Ready for stay? Yeah. So you can imagine this arrival towards you in the garden. Gasty, gasty. Where is yeah. Do you know that accent was really good? <laughs> My little stash of goodies. You've done really well. Yeah. Yeah. Good tray. Well. Solid up. silver hallmarks and napkin what? ring. Seriously? Yes. Oh, nice. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> a little iron pot for my spider plants because it's outgrown everything that I have. <laughs> um, quite a cute little tray. Well, I'm sick of carrying six mugs and like, you know, that's struggling, so that's fine. Like strawberries like into the bin, you should see. Yeah, it's a cute torch. And a garden torch. Yeah, and another torch. New. It's a big big day for torches. Yes, yeah. lots of light. It's really nice, yeah. you've done well. <laughs> oh, thank you. And you've got the glasses, so these are all the glasses that you've got. I'm just here to carry. Yeah. Oh, Have a great day. Thank you okay. very much. Bye. Bye, bye. Surely not, for You have to try it on. For me. <laughs> this that has to have been made in the 70s. Right? It's got a purple zip. It's going to be very flammable. Is that why you want me to try it on? <laughs> Fine, I'll try it. I think mummy will like this. I don't know, I think I like this in the garden. She's going to need dresses for going out into the garden, for looking at everything, for keeping an eye on things. I think we take it. 
Next. And mummy loves loose, airy things. So I think she'll like this one. I like the back of this one. It's nice. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. I think it's nice. So this is another one? Yes. Definite. Definite. I really like this one. It's quite elegant. Mm -hmm. I don't know 100% how it's going to fit mummy. But right. I like it. So if it doesn't fit mummy, I can wear it myself. All right. Just one more to try for mummy. We're not convinced this colour is going to be great for mummy. It might wash her out a bit with the grey, but I already know it's going to be her favourite. It's so the may, loosest. It's the loosest. <laughs> we may as well let her make the decision. Sorry, Percy, I'm really sorry. I can't believe you made me try this on colour. I feel like a 70s Barbie doll. I think it's really fun for like a picnic or some garden party. Then you better have more picnics with me. Um, sit down picnics on chairs. This is for lawns, for lounging on a lawn. Lounging picnics. <laughs> what do you think? For six euros. You really like it. I th look, I think it looks a bit frumpy, but I think it's really funny. And I think actually it looks, it doesn't look bad on you. It's really funny. What okay, do you think? I'll get this for myself, but we'll get the others for mummy. Like the 70s empire waist. You're crazy. It's fun. Flush more success in Emmaus. We've head off towards Chateau Roux. All of our guests have gone the other way. They've gone to see the Jardin des Priorés de Notre Dame d'Orsan, the most beautiful gardens in the local area, about 45 minutes from here. But we've decided that on our way to collect Marie, we'll try and stop in Nouan, which is a gorgeous hamlet, which has the Chateau de Georges Sand in, where she lived with Chopin. See if we can grab a bite to eat here. This is such a charming little place. This auberge is called l'Auberge La Petite Fadette, named after Georges Chan's famous novel of that name. And it's just across the road from her chateau, which is behind that wall. Look. What? Look, the, the, that's, that's the church there. Look. Oh, a miniature. Yeah. Is that the same as the church in the village? That's so cute. It's a very old church. We can go in later if you want. As in very, very old, like 12th century. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're tiny, darling, but it's not going to fit. You're right. It's the same one. Look at the old well. But for me, this place is most important because... You came here, right? This is where I stayed with my parents the very first time I came to view La Lande, before I'd bought it. Bonjour. Bonjour. This is very charming. Mm. <laughs> Reminds like me a bit of our tables at La yes. Lande. And did you look to see what the plates were? I think it's Bernardo. A little check. Yes, Do you want to know? It so, can you see that the napkins have got the key of G? I can't see from here. Let's have a little look. Can you see? Yes, 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 I can see it now. And Georges Saint. No. So see? there's special ones for this hamlet. Yes, Georges Saint napkins. Yes. So that must be the music of Chopin around. That's what I'm thinking. For those of you who haven't heard of Georges Saint, the first surprising thing is she's a woman, even though she's called George, because like the novelist George Eliot in England, she took the name George because back in the 19th century it was much easier to be published if you had a man's name. She caused quite a sensation throughout France because she was famous for her string of lovers, the most famous of whom is definitely Chopin, who lived here with her for many, many years. And their friend Liszt would come and visit. Balzac was here, Victor Hugo, Flaubert. These were all her friends. People came from all over France and all over Europe to stay in this tiny hamlet that's just 20 minutes from the Chateau de la Lande. She wrote a string of romantic novels, which I'm reading at the moment and thoroughly enjoying. And her autobiography is also a really, really good read. You ordered a sweet wine for your pate. Mm -hmm. And look at the pretty glass. Can I see it? That is really gorgeous. It's so unusual to come to a restaurant and not just have white plates yeah. and plain glasses. I love it. Yeah. I wasn't expecting this. A little fisheriette, a caramelized tomato. And this is the famous thing of the local area potato pie. It's almost like a little toffee apple. Oh, that's a revelation. It's delicious. Tomato as toffee apple. We're having the homemade terrine. I'm looking forward to this all with some onion confit. The terrine was absolutely delicious and now we are having John Dory with caviar d'aubergine, so a puree of aubergines. And I love the fact it's not just plain white plates. Each plate's been different for each course. We didn't have a dessert because tonight we've got Maria's three course meal. So we didn't want to spoil our appetite for that. And now we're nearly in Chateau, So we'll be with Marie any minute now. <laughs> oh, it's, like, it's, just... it's been ages. Hi. <laughs> One duckling collected. By the way, I'll just take this opportunity. Marie. Norwegian Marie. <laughs> Cypriot. Maria. 
It's Maria. It's going to be a nightmare. Maria. It's important. Maria. <laughs> A small Thank difference, but an apparently extremely important yeah, one. Not Russian Marie, not Norwegian Maria. <laughs> Marie? Should we Maria. pronounce my Norwegian name like Maria? Maria? <laughs> Why don't we all just call you that? Because that actually sounds more similar, though. Actually, I like the way you call my name. Marie. Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying how oddly um, it was that it was you know, not so cluttered. Not so cluttered. Not so cluttered. No. Look how smug you're looking right now. Well, she said, oh, this area looks very clear and this is the clutter area. No, so this my area. This no, no, this is not bad. No, it's not bad either. There's no, look at that. Here. That's not bad. Yeah, that's museum corner and then that's functionality. Great, because I don't need to touch that and then yeah. I can touch the... the functionality area. corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the next few weeks enormously. <laughs> no, no, no. She's the boss. I just do and she... I'm not the boss. Obviously, You're the boss. I, How long I, is I this going to last I, for, I wonder? I know, but I can't put pants in the direct, like, lined, perfect position. I'll try. That's all right. I'll compromise. I really okay. do. I will make an effort. When I, it's the handles. When I the handles this. must be facing a certain no, way. Okay. The handles is more of, like... An extra. Okay, is that so. for viewing purposes, for the vlog purposes? No, no so that that's Maria I purposes. Like, uh, and not go, uh, you know? I'm going to show everyone the handles. I don't even know if they're the right way around. Has anyone touched them? Maybe. No, they're all the right way. They're all facing the right way. Except for one area and one. <gasps> I'm getting excited. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, oh, sorry yeah, about like, that, Maria. Yeah, yeah. there you are. My lips are shaking. Yeah. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to take you back to the station. Come on, here we go. <laughs> you just sit down. Yeah, we have um, Downton Abbey, the new era. This is La Land. The, the new, new era. It's Downton Abbey, isn't it? <laughs> who, am I, who am I, Daisy or the, or the ginger cook? You are so not either of them. It's <laughs> hilarious. You're, um, is it Lady Mary? You're Lady Mary who's taken up cooking. I'm very much not Lady You're Lady Mary. in the <laughs> The most important thing is the family is back together again. We are. Yes. Yeah, we have like first wave and second wave. It's a beautiful thing. The first thing I'm doing now I'm home is putting the dress in for an emergency wash because I might wear it for the guest dinner tonight. I love it. There is an artist, isn't there? Look at the way that's put together. Even the trousers. See yourselves by the... I'm very floaty today, but I love your outfit. Thank you very much. And even with the necklace, you've thought of everything. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. It's so good to have Mahi back. It really feels right. Now I've got really exciting things to show you over in the woods where I've been called by Nick and Cameron. I'm really excited because I've heard from everyone. They keep saying, have you seen Nick? Have you seen Nick? <laughs> so something's happened, but I don't know what. Well, if you want to come this way. Ooh. Into your office? Yeah, it's a big one. This church now cleared again. Uh, this one imploded on itself. Oh. This tree? It come down in three pieces. Wow. I had to dig it down there with a piece on it, and as it went to fell, I knew the top was tight. Mm -hmm. I've got it all on video. It actually snapped back on itself and went in... F yeah. So it was completely rotten. Oh, 100%. You can see you have. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you come down this way, all paths are accessible now. Everything's open. Wow. But it really has been years. We have not been able to walk on that path. <gasps> no, I think I've only been here for a couple of years. Well, you've certainly never been able to walk on the path. This is absolutely unbelievable. Well, can I go for a little wander down yep. then? All the way to the bridge. It feels good to be able to walk down here. But you can feel how many years vegetation is underfoot, how soft the floor is yes. here. 
And that, of course, was the lake. Yeah. So this is exactly where the lake came to. And it's where the stream will be going through. Came yeah. To about here. Yeah, that's bottom right. Up, bottom level. Exactly where you're standing. Exactly where I'm stood. Well, I'll be honest, I think you're working on paths that are probably over 500 years old. Yeah. Hence the old walls. I think that they date, maybe, they probably predate the chateau. Or most of the parts of the chateau. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. But if we come back now this way towards the boathouse. That's the wall there. There's a wall there. Yes, I can see it. If you can see my hand here, I'm yeah. on the wall now, and that's the original wall and that's an old running wall. all the way around. Yeah. All right. And that ties in the ones that we found the other side of the boat house when I was down on the white bed that time. Imagine. But this is a huge difference, Nick. This is what I mean, keep. We were standing with you here, mm -hmm. and you said you thought that the whole boat house would be about to be knocked over. It got close. But you can see just up here where the stump actually exploded on cutting. Because all these trees was one on top of another on top of another. And on one of the one of the footage you'll actually see I'm cutting like that. That far in it starts splitting. And then you see the speed it actually jumps off after I've got the sword semi-trapped. We've got it out. It jumps off to the side. Well, this is one of the bits just to show that it actually snapped off of that trunk and just to show the tension didn't snap it as in it ruptured it it peeled it back between the rings so you can see it's actually that's a ring layer there that's another one and it's just it's peeled the tree apart and the actual stump's got about six or seven different bits where it's just ripped it apart from the inside. And was that the tension of another tree that was, on it? That was a tension of another tree that we were trying to pull out of it that was yeah. actually balanced in, balanced in it. So it wasn't even a tree that was under tension to the ground, it was just with the weight of another tree that we'd back cut and were trying to safely get out. It, it, it just, and it was only in about a fork that big that was keeping it up and it just ruptured the entire tree. It's terrifying. It, it was a bit scary when it when I saw it split and I think the split that opened up was about a good two and a half meters three meters tall and it just went poof. Yeah we've cleared all this as well to allow vegetation to come back through. And look at those little trees the tiny little saplings I had no hope before. Yeah different species as well of trees to try to keep the beach the um, maples a couple of little oaks that are starting to pop through got rid of the ivy so this beech tree could start breathing again. Now we're going to try and get all this scraped back as well at the same time because we've got young oaks coming through there, we've got chestnuts. Look how you can see the sun filtering down mm. through the trees now to the forest floor. But if you want to walk down here, you might want to get close to this. I think I can see, I can see a bud. This is what we're waiting for. Well, something's opening out. Something pretty. Well, well, Davy wrote to me and said that if it's a rhododendron and it was planted a long time ago, it would have to be purple. He said because yeah. the previous lot were all purple and then the new colours came afterwards. Yeah. Oh. So, well, so far it's purple. Is that a nest in it? That, yeah, it's an old nest <laughs> attempt. Uh, from last year. But have you also noticed how it's standing up now since it's got light on it from two weeks ago? Big difference. The sun's been tracking around. It's actually trying to make itself. That was actually one of the hardest bits was missing this <laughs> with all the wood coming up. Yes. So we'll come back and keep an eye on it next week, see how far it's come along. But you can also see here now what I was saying, that we're getting a lot more regrowth from the trunks. All of them are bursting into life, all the way along the trunk. That one as well. They really were just sticks with bushy heads before. Hoping to slow the vertical growth down and 
Yes. Let them start filling out now. Yes. Before they were all like that one just in the middle there. Yeah. There's no green on it at all. Now we're getting this. All because of the light that's suddenly coming through. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, as you come around here. You've really opened my eyes to so much, Nick, because before I met you, I thought woods were just a natural thing that, you know, you didn't really have to do anything to. But this is what I'm saying about letting the natural flowering come through. Yes. You've got the hummingbird moth there straight onto them. There's a poppy somewhere that's popped oh. up. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we've got a lot of natural plants that are wanting to spread through the woods. And all of this because of your clearing? Yeah. As I was explaining with the pines, for example, the fact that the French grow their, you treat their, their pines as crop, they will plant a thousand trees on, an, on one hectare over the space of 25 years, they'll take it down to around 750 trees, cut them all down in one go when they're about that diameter. Mm. But the problem with that is, is pines, as we've already discussed here, turns the soil acidic. And so when you've got all these hectares of part of a thousand to 750 pine dotted all along the, all over the place, when you've cut it down, Obviously, you can't do anything with it anymore because the ground is so acidic and that's where the complicated side comes for. If you are trying to micromanage the woodland to get it to do exactly what you want it to do, yes, it is kind of te technical and it can be difficult because they just trees just want to do what they want to do. It's almost like a, a, a little society. They grow, talk to each other, you look at, they avoid each other and they just do what they want to do so it's actually more difficult trying to plan out how to have a forest that looks natural than to just leave a natural forest yeah, and to let grow. it happen yeah you've made the but, woods healthy but you can also see what else is coming through on the, on the floor i mean you've got the natural flowers that are coming through that's just going to get more and more exciting every year yeah i mean if it was in your garden you'd call them a weed but all the weed is, is a plant in the wrong place. Yeah, and here, and this they'll is the be right place perfect. for things like that. It is really peaceful to just be able to have and sit and relax in places like this because it, it is, at the end of the day, that step of coming back to nature, back into your roots a little yeah. bit, and to just slow down and enjoy. Mm. And when you've got a place like this, I mean, you can only, you can only enjoy it because, well, it's a woodland. You know, you come in, you sit, and you, but you at the end of the day, you're not, coming and doing something with it you're just coming in here to appreciate it doing its thing it's good for the soul and yeah and i love the sound of the birds as always you've made the world a more beautiful place after you've been through it i'll see you next month for yeah, more transformations yeah. see you. bye Hello. pink have you done that to match my new dress no i would never never i'm just going to go and see if it's dry I like it. Have we had this before? I don't remember this combo. I don't think so. It's a real Barbie table tonight. So it seems perfectly fitting that I should go as 70s Barbie. It says end, so fingers crossed. Yes, it feels dry. I think it's going to be okay. I love it, Philip. Like, like... Oh, and if you think I've lost my mind with the dress this evening, it was Philip's find in Imma used today for six euros. Oh. And I have to make sure I stay away from yes, flames. Yes, I think it's acrylic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it has been with the color. I, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. oh, I love the peacocks. They're yeah, great, aren't they? So tonight we have fresh salad of cucumber, balsamic strawberries, tomatoes and radishes, and then flowers from the garden. The white ones are horse radish flowers. Thank, Thank you so much. Much. Thank you. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah. But soon. soon. Sorry, I'll just quickly introduce what you're eating. We have uh, chicken, uh, fett and pr uh, prune roulade, cauliflower puree, and green beans and uh, sweet peas from the garden. It looks so Thank gorgeous. The peach, sweet peas, so pretty. To finish, we have uh, a coconut based chocolate and banana mousse. And lemon uh, balm and pansies from the garden. Yes. Thank, Thank you. So you. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Sharon's last night. It is. We're really sad you're going. Me too. Yeah. But it's... the party is just getting started. We're going to play games. Oh, rummy cub again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But not any rummy cub. Spin the bottle. <laughs> Yeah. And here we have oh, yeah. Stephanie in her floral dress. It's not Stephanie. It's oh, about this Sharon's really, really set it off, I think. Yeah. See, jazzing it up. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Not bad for six euros. Yeah.
What about? Amory doesn't think so. She's really? Impressed. No, I think you really pull it off. It's yeah. like the empire waist. Oh, no, I think it looks really nice. Yeah, if I tried to wear that, I would look like I've come off a collector farm. But you look very I elegant. You've got a bit of that in there. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. I'm told there's a list of vegetables and what we have on the, the blackboard. Yeah, yeah, Pavlina does it. Mm -hmm. So Maria always knows what's in season. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I wish I had that back in my day. No, you're right. Maria has a much easier time of it than you ever did. Right? This is the result of uh, working on your rela working relationship with your colleague. No. Oh, Maria. You know, you give them mousse. You give, you treat them well. Oh, uh, that's it. That's you out. So uh, I had to say, like Maria only had me as a colleague here. <laughs> Be in the garden checking what is it. And I'm sure she did give you mousse. You gave me a lot more. Than oh. A list of vegetables. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a sight, Philip. You and the well, after eight I mean, minutes. In front of me, actually. Yes, and you were saying that it was going to be too gimmicky. Who was it? To be fair, Amory looked at me and went, just no. It looks good. I quite like it. It's fun. I think it's really fun. Thank you all for joining us for another day at La Land. Today I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons and a reminder that this week's patron vlog, if you haven't seen it yet, is an update about my thoughts for the chapel, including exciting new news that we have received that the Chapel of St. Joseph at La Land was used as the template for another church built in the region, which has sadly lost a lot of its own internal paintings. Also, there's the first glimpse of my mother back in the UK and Philip and I start choosing the paint colors for Bon Mama's bathroom. Today I'd like to say a special thank you to Chelsea, Matthew Chupp, Gregory Clear, Linda Sue Concepcion and Erin Conklin. Thank you for supporting the Chateau Diaries. Lots and lots of love to all of you. I can't wait to see you on Sunday.